Hey guys, so today is going to be a DIY of how to make the tie-dye bed sheets that I made for my tiny house. Um, some people have asked where to get them and I made them, so that's what this video is going to be about. It will also be a giveaway, so these sheets that I'm making are for one of you guys who watch my channel because I don't need two pairs, two sets of tie-dyed um, bed sheets. What you're going to need is obviously um, what I have here is a top sheet, a fitted sheet, and two pillows, pillowcases. So that's what whoever wins is going to get. Rubber bands, super important guys. Um, you must have good rubber bands that stretch pretty far too. And then get a fabric dye and then an actual tie dye. It's the same thing. You can choose from what I've um, seen the fabric dye is cheaper and just as good so um, I would do that if I were you but and you need a whole bunch of um, bottles I used as many um, like water bottles that I could plastic water bottles that I was gonna recycle because these sheets are big and so you're gonna need a lot of dye You're going to want to do this outside most likely. You can put um, trash bags on inside. I've done that before. Um, I didn't have any spills but more ideal outside so you can just kind of change around the area so that you know what you want yellow will stay yellow and not be blue. These are what I was talking about, the water bottles here I found this big thing for the yellow. Um, you're going to want paper towels to test your colors on because apparently this is yellow even though it looks orange. You may want gloves too. I've divided each of these into eight. Um, you can do six, whatever you want in terms of the colors and um, the combination. It's all okay because you live. So I'm in my tiny house. I just finished um, tie-dyeing it. It took probably 20 minutes or so, 20 actual minutes, um, without prepping the dyes, which took probably another 10 minutes. My hands did get um, dyed on. Be very careful when you're touching the, the um, fabric, the, the sheets that you're dyeing or the pillowcases, that what you have on your hands isn't touching the other colors, specifically the yellow and basically just the yellow because it would look really bad if there was a dot of like purple because that would then turn to brown and it just wouldn't look good. So beware of that. I'm going to let that sit for probably, what time is it, four-ish, um, probably two to three hours and then I'm going to take it out. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like and then I'm going to wash them individually. Do it on a quick cycle, um, the shortest you can, because the first time you wash it, the colors can bleed 
and that would be really bad in terms of keeping your your um, tie-dye perfect and keeping the white there basically because you don't want a tie-dye that's all all color at least I don't the white is what makes it look so good and make it look like a tie-dye so I'm gonna take you guys up Stairs just to show you my current tie-dye sheets. Obviously, these are for you or for someone out there. And, um, yeah, just maybe see the difference. I, I believe this one's going to be um, much more vibrant and have more color in general. Um, but we'll see what happens when I take them out. Let me just show them to you first. Here they are again. They turned out so well. I couldn't believe... They turned out so well because this is my first time um, trying this out. So I just wanted to share with you really quick because um, while well, I did do the tie-dyed top sheet and fitted sheet, um, I turned the fitted sheet uh, into a duvet. So basically, it's actually a birthday present from my sister, but she, I picked out some fabric that I wanted on the underneath side and then got a comforter that didn't have any like cool covering just a plain comforter and then sewed the bottom and the top there's little um holes in the corners like, you can't really can you see that maybe there's little holes in each corner about two inch thick and there was these little short tassels that were sewed to the comforter itself that's inside so that then you pull these tassels through on the outside and you tie it so that the comforter will actually stay in place within the um, duvet. So if, if that makes sense, I don't know if it really does, but because um, I really wanted it on the outside um, and then my pillows, you know, came out like this. I shall catch you in a little bit when I open up the... Um, tie-dyes. It's definitely by far the best part of the whole experience is seeing how your design came out with all the different colors. Alright, so I have to be super quick. It's starting to rain now. I'm going to open these up and then throw them in the wash. But I wanted to show you guys them first. are all going to get washed. You should wash yours as well. Um, wash them separately. I'm doing the big, two big ones separately. I'll do these pillowcases together and I'll see you guys tomorrow when I reveal how they look after they get washed. Hey guys, so it is the morning after and boy am I exhausted, but I gotta show you these sheets. It's already started raining just a little bit, um, but it shouldn't be raining too long, I hope. So, this is how they turned out. Um, they actually ended up becoming pastel colors. Um, and I think it might have to do with the fact that these sheets, I wasn't able to find 100% um, cotton. And so these have a little bit of polyester in them. And I, I think the ones that I originally did, didn't. So. That's something to consider if you're gonna um, do these sheets that um, the colors might stay differently if you um, if you had 100% cotton. So here's the big sheet. Let's see. I can't, I can't show it all. Not tall enough, guys. All right, super cool. Um, I'm so happy with it. The yellow is a little bit paler than I really would have liked, but it's awesome because it's pastel colors. Um, the fitted sheet is actually slightly brighter than that other one. Um, I'm not gonna open, well, whatever. I've opened the other ones up. I might as well, right? So that's the fitted sheet.
Okay. So I've decided on what the contest um, is going to be. What you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to subscribe to this YouTube and subs um, follow my Instagram account, which is all gonna be linked below, and then sign up for my newsletter. If you don't have an Instagram account, just let me know. When you've done all three of those things, um, just write done in the comments below and I will um, pick a winner, random winner from those comments. Um, I will be checking whoever I pick. Um, so if they don't meet the, the guidelines there, then um, I'm gonna pick an, a new winner. So if you guys want these guys, you're gonna have to do that um, and they'll be shipped out. Uh, let's see, when will I have it till? I think I'll probably have, have the contest going for maybe a week. So maybe around June 7th or June 8th, I will have, um, these will be sent out to some lucky person and I will vlog or video the whole process of picking the winner so that you guys feel like, um, it was fair. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you super soon. Adios.